Hello and welcome to Lord Fate Gaming Plays the Sash Creek Odyssey. I'm your host, Lord Fate. In today's video, we're still doing the Fate of Lance Episode 1, Part 2 of this video series. This video, we are going to do a new uh, story mission after a while, jumping around in between time since I was clearing out areas to do uh, all the uh, Keeper Insights for the Staff of Hermes to get some new uh, ability upgrades and finally we are going to finish this video off with the Dark Horse. So first thing we are going to do is sun in new. However, I am going to check around the area and mark everything, make sure everything is fine before we uh, get there. So we're going to do that right about now. You're asking uh, why are we doing Keeper's Insight when you should do that in a trophy slash achievement video? I'll probably do that anyways, but still, why are you doing that? Well, in a future video I'm going to do, Hermes will require actually one of the Keeper Insights for you to get. When you do that, it will actually advance the uh, story mission real quick if you do that first. It's kind of like getting uh, things ahead. So we're going to do that. Also in this video, I'll show everybody the statues for what to kill. The reason why is these statues right here are very uh, important if you want to drop some influence down the area so this way it'll be uh, more safe for you. So we're going to go on the boat right now then hurry this up since the boat ride is really slow and really boring. So let's do that. Yeah in this area we are going to do right now is uh, get these statues. The reason why is um, they give you skill points every time you uh, destroy one. So you see that in the upper right hand corner of the screen that says plus 10. Well some of that's going bye bye. Yeah. You should do that to get your masteries and certain uh, skills, abilities, whatever you want to do. So for now, I will return after combat. Well, let's smash these statues up for a free point. Yes, you should always do it. Also, there's a trophy slash achievement, and I might get time to put a future guide out there so this way you know where we're at. And there you go, they're all destroyed. And you get a negative 30 on uh, Fasefani's uh, control. You want that so this way things will be easier for you. Still, you get a bunch of experience stones, not bad at all. Plus, see, they already got one uh, point right there. So this is good. So now we're going to return to Sudden and New. Yes, we're going to go there right now to meet our uh, contact for this quest. And then we're going to have some fun doing it. Also, there is also, I will show you uh, in the course of this video, uh, Keeper's Insight. Yes, there is one inside where we're going to go. But first, we're going to do the quest portion, then return to the tomb. However, for now, we're going to just get this quest started. So let's do that, shall we? Yeah, I'm trying to wait for my horse. It's stuck in the water. Yeah, it's one of the features in the game. Let's see if it gets out and let's see where I could get over there. Now, there's another statue I'll show you one more time and then that's it for uh, story mode. So, we're going to go over here, get the statue on the way. It should be right over here, folks. So, as if you're doing the uh, quest I'm doing, there's a statue there again. I'll do a future video for all of them so everybody will benefit. Now, I will uh, definitely be back after it causes some more uh, trouble and chaos. Yeah, that's what I do for these video series. It's trouble, trouble and uh, chaos.
All right, as I always say, smash it up, smash it up. Well, just keep on smashing the statue and chop it to pieces, do whatever you want, slash it. Use a nice hammer to it. There you go, it's destroyed. There's a free point, you should see up ahead. You get some good experience too from it, so keep that in mind. Plus the materials too is real nice too. So we get our horse and I keep on going at this point. Now we're gonna go do the quest, I promise you all on that. So let's uh, get going on that. Now this is a short ride from the uh, statue we just destroyed. Yes, we're gonna get over here to this retreat right here once we do that. As soon as we get uh, close enough, it will automatically uh, trigger a cutscene. It will give us our uh, quest. Now there's also a sync point I think around here. Again, I'm gonna let the view. I'm gonna show, let everybody see the view on that. Since this is a beautiful land, Elysium. So let's uh, get our uh, quest and go raid a tomb, shall we? There, soaking wet and sputtering, while his boat floated away from him down the Eridan River in pieces. I'd give my sharpest bronze dagger to see that silly human trying to leave Elysium on a felucca. Have you visited my mother recently and given her my love? Always. The meteor sends her love in return. Well, I'd better get back. Elysium won't rule itself. Do keep an eye out for me. I sense trouble brewing in paradise. I was starting to think you'd never get here. You can't waste time if you hope to break Persephone's control over the gate to the underworld. I... <laughs> Did you really think word wouldn't get out that you're in collusion with Elysium's pretty boy, Adonis? Is that so? Unfortunately, no one passes through the gate to the underworld without Persephone's permission, which she has never given. Ever. Luckily for you, as the goddess of crossroads and keys, locked doors happen to be my specialty. Are you saying you can get me through the gate? I'm saying I can help you bypass Persephone. From what I just saw, you're pretty close with Persephone. Why would you want to work against her? I'm not asking for your blind trust. Let me prove our goals align. This unlocks the door to Persephone's hidden sanctuary. She keeps all of her most intimate possessions there, stowed away from her husband. Among her treasures is a journal rumored to contain information you desperately need about the gate. Bring it to me as soon as you can. I'll go get the journal. The sooner you bring me it, the closer you are to leaving Elysium. Don't waste any time. All right, we got our uh, quest, and we got ourselves a free key. Yes. So we got to go in this uh, Gaia's underpass. And it's directly to the east of here. I'll uh, mark down the map. However, I'm showing everybody the uh, sink point. Since we are going to go back there, and we're going to save some time in this video, hopefully, to get there. So this one's very easy to get. Climb the pillar and do some jumping. You'll see that in a few moments. It's really easy. And I always say before, make sure you want to get your sync points for fast travel reasons. And plus, the view is nice. All right, start your climbing up here. Just keep on climbing. There you go. And we're going to get the sync point, And it should be done real quick. Then I'll go back on the quest. So here, here's the view. See, that's a nice view right there. So now we got a general idea of this area here. So we need to go east, which I think it's right here exactly. This is one where the Keeper's Insight is at, by the way. I'll put all the uh, timestamps in the video. And at the time of this recording, when I was doing this segment of the quest, I didn't know where it was at until much, much later. Yeah, you're going to see some skips there. But still, my point being is, is um, I discovered it a little bit later after I got one uh, Exignia piece. So everything's going to be a little bit out of order, however, I'm going to link this whole uh, tomb right here towards it. So we're going to go into Gaia's underpass, 
And we're going to do the quest first and come back here uh, later. Well, a little bit actually, but still. This one's pretty easy though. Just find the door, that's it. Real simple. There are four chests inside. If you do collect, I say, all four uh, chests, I think you do get a skill point. Keep that in mind if you need any more uh, skill points. Now let's go raid this tomb right here. We're only going to get two of the chests for this uh, quest. The other ones I did kind of off screen when I discovered the uh, Keeper's Insight. That's next up after uh, this quest is done. So what we're going to do right now is uh, get over there and uh, raid this tomb. So go over here, follow the direction I'm going, and uh, keep on going this direction. It's very, it's very uh, straightforward. And you see this right here? That's one of the secret ways to get inside a tomb. And I was thinking of using a bow and arrow for my light. I kind of figured out it's better if I just use the torch, see? Much more light, but still. There are no enemies here. That's the uh, great news. Now, I am going to point out a statue for this video. So when I see the statue, I'll show it to you. That's where the Keeper's Insight is at, actually. It's, it's behind that uh, statue. Now, this one's very uh, simple uh, puzzle-solving uh, mechanic. All you need to do is climb and move one uh, object, and that's it. Yeah, see, there's two of them blocked. We're going to move one of them up ahead, so you go over here, you only need move one, that's it. Don't move uh, both. If I remember, I only did that in the course of this uh, video here. Yeah, it made things a little bit harder. I don't want to do that at all. Well, it looks like I did move two, but still, you really want to move one, that's it. But still, if you want to move two, go ahead. But, okay, now you jump down here, and there will be a chest nearby. If I remember right, there is right there. That is one of uh, four. Now the other two chests are by the statue. Now there's a statue right here. I'm just looking around. You see that statue? Uh, and of course, a little bit later, I will uh, break the wall behind the statue. Automatically. So, yeah, that's automatically going to be done. And next thing you need to do is just smash this right here. See, it's very easy. It's not hard at all. And remember, you're playing as Cassandra, not Layla, so you can step on the uh, spike floors, but I would not advise doing that. Now, this part's a little puzzle solving. You need to get to the door. So, uh, try to follow some of my steps, but not all of them. Some of them might be right, some of them might not be wrong, but I will get us through this puzzle. I think I did was moving this over here. Yeah, this one's a little bit tricky, but if you uh, be patient, take some time, you'll uh, solve it with ease. So I'm going to move this right here. I think that's the next one. And I think I moved it over here. Let's see if it's this one. No, I think it's this one. <clears throat> Let me see here. Nope, I think I got it wrong. <laughs> yeah, something tells me I should move the two over there. Yeah, I can't move it over there. Yeah, look like that one's no uh, dice. I need to move the other one next, and then that'll be it. We'll get inside that one room. Ready for a uh, quest giver, and that's it. Yep, see, the pathway is just open for us. Yes. And I'm going to look around some more for some uh, chesses. There's no one right there. This is what we want. Bust that open. That is two of four. Now, the last two is uh, on the way to the Keeper's Insight. So if you do need to get that quest done, well, guess what? You'll get there easily. And there you have it. There's the door right here. So we need to uh, bust it open. So use the key, and then we're going to grab the uh, journal. All I gotta say is Elysium has some slick people in this uh, land, yes. Backstabbing each other. I have a feeling some people will get backstabbed in this DLC. And I'm gonna be like the indirect cause to it. And there's the locksmith's journal, yes. And we got our uh, quest time, so now we get to get out of this uh, tomb right here and uh, return to our uh, quest giver. And there's more uh, letters there, so this is good right here. This is just for lore if you are... Uh, I want to check that out. So I'm going to go over here, exit this door, and there you go. And we're going to walk out of this tomb here. Yes, there's an exit up ahead too on the other side. This is just straightforward. So there are two entrances and two um, exits. What do you want to call it? Is there entrances or exits? Depends on how you feel. There you go. Smash the wall. And now we're outside on the other side of the tomb, and there's a marble main uh, tribute ahead. This is where another one is at. So you know what? We're gonna clear this out.
All right, time to smash this statue up. I was supposed to promise you all just two uh, statues in video. Well, you got three. That's three uh, free skill points. That's on the way during a quest too. So, if you're looking for uh, ability points, skill points, well, destroy these statues. I think they're 18 ability points at all. So, guess what? If you want to fill the entire tree up in Sasquatch Odyssey, go ahead. If you want to pick and choose what skills to master do that too well that's better to master just pick a set of skills you want to keep and the other ones want to master so now we're going to return to our quest giver and get this journal turned in which is very important unfortunately there's some pages missing so we'll get the experience and uh prizes at least so that's the good news in there so we're going to do is turn this in and then we're going to go back to this tomb afterwards so time skip on that so we're going to turn this in if our horse doesn't get in the way, and I'll be back after I uh, get our rewards. I'm not sure how stealing Persephone's journal will help me open the gate to the underworld, but here it is. Stealing Persephone's journal wouldn't help us, but stealing the journal that belonged to the gate's locksmith will. Who's the locksmith? It doesn't say. Looks like a lot of pages were torn out. Now be quiet while I read. Well, that was illuminating. So? What does it say? Oh, so eager. The location of the gate is not revealed. But so long as Persephone controls Elysium, you need her permission to pass through it, which you will never get. But if she loses control of Elysium... She loses control of the gate. You need to undermine her influence any way you can. And how do you suggest I do that? Your alliance with Adonis is a good start. His head-on tactics are a little obvious for my taste, but in time, he will wear down Persephone's forces. What about our alliance? Where do you come in? I know all of Persephone's weaknesses, and I'll direct you to them when the time is right. Until then, you'd be wise to spend some time with Persephone's lapdog, Hermes. Learn to use that staff. You'll need a divine weapon in the land of gods. Alright, that quest is done. You'll get a whole bunch of quests after that. And uh, one of them is Persephone's quest to advance the story. We are not going to do that exactly. Instead, I am going to get all four Keeper's Insight in this video. Since I feel it's part of the story. So we're going to get the first Keeper's Insight. As always, go back to Gaia's uh, underpass. As you see right here in this video. We're going to visit that statue. I uh, mentioned in the video. Remember I said remember it? Well, guess what? We're going to go there right now. It's already been opened the past. Unfortunately, I discovered this by accident. Yeah, I kind of discovered this by accident. I did catch the recording though on the uh, Keeper's Insight, so you'll see what that has, looks like. However, I'll point out the puzzles and what the solution should look like for you to pass. Again, I'm sorry for that because I was in the middle of uh, recording, checking everything out, make sure everything was fine. I was more focused on getting the Keeper's Insight. And I might put a future video on that so this way, uh, if you don't want to watch the story, at least the, uh, you'll get a chance to watch that again, but still. What we're going to do is go over here, and we're going to go up here, yeah, I'm going to go try to drop down this time. Yeah, so what you got to do is play, uh, yeah, drop down there. We're looking for the statue, so when we see that statue up ahead, that's where you need to go. It's right there. I already broke the wall right there. Before, there was a wall right there intact. However, you need to break it behind the statue. And I'll show you what to do next. Now, for this portion of the tomb, there are two chests. However, great news is um, you need to move each part in order to advance the uh, Keeper's Insight. When you move that over there, that's what we uh, pass right there to get ahead. Real easy. You need to do is move these right here in this path like this exactly. Get one side and move those towards you right there. That's the other side. Chest area should be around there somewhere on either one. Again, you move it over here just to get over here, this pathway. And then you move over here. Again, do that. So this way you uh, go straight ahead. And we get back here. Yep, see, this is straight ahead here. 
after you uh, move uh, straight ahead and move around here, ignore that completely. Yes, keep on going there. Now we're on the quest of the uh, a growing perception, and we discovered the area, Dead Heroes Haven. So we're in Desai Dead Heroes Haven. This is straightforward. So keep on going. Uh, towards the end, you see this tablet-like thing there. Uh, interact with it uh, with your uh, staff. What happens is you get a skill ability upgrade. Yeah, you get a nice upgrade for one of your uh, abilities. Yes, I'll tell you which one when it's done. And it's Kronos' uh, Time Warp. Now, here's the special one about that. In order to extend the time on it, you need to keep on doing headshots. So every five headshots you do, it extends it by X amount of seconds. Uh, use the preview button. Slow time for five seconds. Headshots performed during that time will be uh, 2.5 seconds. So I think it's like every uh, few headshots you get a nice time extension. So uh, keep that in mind if you're a Archer user. Well, I do that sometimes anyways for that in case I want to do that. So that's the first tomb in the nutshell. And I skipped ahead. This is the yellow one right here. Sunken Jaw of the Sphinx. This is where you want to go right here is there. This one's underwater, so bring uh, Poseidon's Trident. You're going to need it. Trust me. Part 1 of this uh, Sunken Jaw of the Sphinx is underwater. However, Part 2, I believe there are some foes there guarding it. You could be real slick about it, you could go in uh, swinging your uh, weapon like crazy, it's up to you. Still you're going to see why I, you need that uh, trident. Yeah, this is a long swim folks, a real long swim. And we're going to keep on going over here and just move real quick. Yeah, I would move quick if you don't have uh, Poseidon's trident. I say I have that from here on out. So this way it would be much easier. Oops, I hit the wrong button. Yeah, I'll make sure you want to equip Poseidon's trident. Also, uh. Equip that staff of Hermes because you're going to need that later on in the course of the DLC to free some uh, humans. Yeah, these uh, new animation like foes are actually uh, mind control humans. And you're going to need to use the uh, staff layer on for that. Still, so just keep on uh, swimming this way. I just want to tell everybody ahead of time about the staff's usefulness. That's in a future quest, by the way. And just keep on swimming this way since we have uh, Poseidon's Trident. If not, you need to hurry up and swim. After you get this right here, I believe you need to look up. Yeah. I thought it was there, but it was uh, cinders for my armor. Yep, swim up there. It's going to be a long swim up. Yeah, keep on going up here. Since we got the triad, well, that's very useful. And once we're there, there you go. Get out of the water. And next thing we are going to do is be sneaky. Yeah. There are some uh, foes there, so we need to be uh, extra special uh, careful. So now we're going for the second keeper's uh, insight. And just keep on jumping over here and keep on going. Yeah, it's not bad at all, I mean, it's really easy. Now, if there's any uh, combat ahead, I'm going to just let it roll. Yeah, I'm going to let that happen. If I remember, I think there might be combat, or I might think it's another cavern I'm thinking of. I'm trying to remember, folks. <laughs> so just keep on going here. If you see any uh, materials, do grab it. You're going to need a lot of them for upgrades. Especially armor beyond uh, 70. And there you go. We got some drachme and cash. And there's a nice chest here in case you all want that too. Let's see what's inside. Hmm. Now these uh, precursor items. Save a helmet later on. It involves a quest. Everything else I would probably save and then get to the main world. See if it sells for more. And right over here I just went by the mushrooms. This is a crack to walk through. And we're almost there to the uh, Keeper's Insight. This is a short path to get from there. So this one's basically uh, straightforward and easy to do once you get over here. So what we're going to do right now is get towards the Keeper's Insight. I think I see a faint glow up ahead. You know, those are mushrooms. Yep, there is right there. There's the pillars in the room. And let's see what we uh, get this time to enhance one of our skills. Now, in order to get these enhancements, you gotta max out the skill first. Once you do that, then you get the enhancement. So, we're gonna interact right here with the object right here and use the Keeper's Staff. And yeah, once you do that, I'll show you this. There you go. And look like we got a new enhancement right there. It tells you build enhancements, which I already told you on. And look like we're enhancing the Reign of Arrows. That was an alright skill, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I prefer the uh, bow's overpowering shot. Much more uh, nastier range, you get healed, and it wipes the board. 
yeah, it just tells you about equipment enhancements. You need to max out the skill though before doing that. Otherwise, it ain't gonna work. So I'm just showing you all right now. And just use the preview button if you want to do that again. It looked all right, but there's much better. So this tomb's right here done. I'm gonna skip ahead in the video to get number three. Now we're on number three right here. So when you're in these ruins right here, you just need to climb now. Once I uh, get towards the uh, entrance, I'll uh, show everybody where that is on the uh, map, so we all uh, benefit. But first, you gotta climb over this building here. Yeah, this one's gonna take a lot of climbing, a lot of diving, and just a lot of things to do. So we're just gonna do that right now. So first thing you need to do is just keep on climb over here. Yeah, it's a climb, folks. Yeah, at this time I was just actually trying to look for it. There's a hole right here you need to drop down. And at some point in the video, I'll try to show you where all that is at. And there you go. There's already the keeper symbol. All I'm going to do is, uh, let me see if I pop up the map real quick. This was a short one, actually. So when you go on your map right here, it's right there. It's, it's in these uh, ruins right here. So it's there. So it's very easy. Once you do some climb and get to the top, and then you get to over here, and it's very easy. This one's really easy to do. I think this is one of the ones that Hermes uh, points to you. And of course, that'll be in a future video. It'll be a quick uh, blur. Now we got Ares uh, Bull Charge. You need to uh, max it out. An actual bull will uh, pop out your uh, Bull Charge and charge the endings. Not bad if you use that overall. But I prefer using my other ones, which is much, much better. But still, if you want to go for it, go for it. All right, so after everything's all done and set ready to uh, go, I'm going to show you the fourth and uh, final one. Yes. This one will be near the uh, main quest afterwards, so we're going to do that right now. After you grab some loot, so I'm going to skip ahead in the uh, video towards the last and final one. I'll show you the location of that too. And there we are right now. And this is the last one right here. This is the entrance. I'm showing you that because, well, there's an entrance. There's also combat too, so I'll let that happen. So we're going to do a preemptive strike because two uh, statues are definitely guarding the last keeper in sight so we need to be careful on that there is a trophy slash achievement called gathering strength i'll put a separate guide in the video which much more uh, mapping so first thing we're gonna do is go over here right here and uh, grab what we need to grab so you need to do is go over here uh, keep on going over here. There'll be enemies up ahead guarding it. If we were to grab the uh, keepers inside, they would attack us. Instead, we're going to attack them first. Use rush assassination for this. Be watching for me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's about negative 30 right there told of uh, someone's control in this area we did that so now we we'll use the staff of Hermes and um, get our final uh, ability to get enhanced now this one is uh, Ares uh, rage which becomes Ares madness now here's the thing about this one you do a lot more damage however you cannot use any other skills yeah but that means also uh, enemies attacks become non-lethal so guess what <laughs> You had to do some damage there too without worrying about it. So we go over there right now. I enhanced it. It's 35% more damage for 10 seconds, which is great for boss fights. So if you really want to take out a boss, well, this is a ability that's great for it. Besides, I always use that anyways. It's real powerful. And also unleashes the full power of Leonidas' spear. So that is it for the Burial Science Cave and Gathering Strength Trophy slash Achievement. So now we'll get back to the uh, main story. Now we're going to do Dark Horse. That's the final uh, main uh, quest for the story I'm doing in this video here. And then we're going to do a whole bunch of ones that are uh, separate. Yes, this is the last one. I was doing all the uh, conquest uh, quests. And I was uh, getting the Keeper's Insights. And those are very important. Yeah, you always want to do those. Now, Donus is, is the conquest one. You want to do those so you impress them. 
In fact, I advise heavily doing those before uh, continuing on the main story at this point. Because in a future video, you need to get a quest to get the uh, freeing the humans one. So uh, keep that in mind. So we're going to go over here and use our ride and start the uh, Dark Horse quest. We're going to start that exactly. So keep on riding over here. And then there's a Wings of Armies we need to reach. Her uh, palace. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to reach her uh, palace right here. Pisoni's, uh palace. So you go over here during this gate. And you're going to go up. Now here's the thing I found out. I thought I was combat heavy. Well, guess what? It's not. Once you go inside, this is like a peaceful area. So we're going to teleport right now. I will say this area is very beautiful. Just trust me. This is one of the beautiful uh, palaces in the area. And, well, it might be beautiful for the entire uh, DLC. There are guards here. They will not attack you unless you're in... Uh, Areas you're supposed to not be in, then yeah, then they'll uh, attack you. But still, we keep on going over here and straight ahead. But before we do that, there is a sync point I want to show everybody. You definitely want to get this sync point because it's a big time shortcut to this palace right here. Instead of going the long way again, nope, we're going to go the short, short way. You know what? Going inside here, this part right here is boring. Let's go uh, climb. I'm going to get a nice view of it. Well, preview of the view, but still. And look at the uh, architect right there. This is like beautiful here. Uh, Ubisoft did a great job of it. Of their imagination of uh, ancient Greece. Or Elysium. They made it real beautiful. And if we're going to Tartarus. Well I'm afraid. Because they're going to look like it's going to be vile and evil. Just trust me. So keep on going this path. This is straightforward. And uh, do not act, interact with the door. Instead we're going to get the sink point. I feel like that's more important. Like I said before, it's a free teleportation back, so you always want to get something free. This is one of them. So you see these pillars right here. It's just like uh, the statue before in the first episode of this uh, DLC Part 1, actually. And we're going to climb over here. Yep, keep on climbing here. There's a nice uh, sink point there. Real easy. So we're going to get up here, sink up. I'll let everybody see the uh, view. actually an awesome view of the waterfall this is real great right here so next up is we're going to interact this door right here and start a cutscene to advance the dark horse quest so let's go start interacting this door right about now I didn't get a good enough look at you back there. Now I see why my guards had trouble with you. Well, they weren't exactly easy. I'm sure they aren't what mortals like you are used to. You must be someone special. You're acting pretty nice for someone who just tried to kill me. Consider that a misunderstanding. It isn't every day I see a new face in my realm, much less one as lively as yours. So, Elysium belongs to you? After the rude introduction I gave you, I can't blame you for not knowing. Let me apologize. Roth can attest, usually he's the one that does the biting. He would want you to forgive me too. Tell me your name. Let's begin again. On the right foot, this time. No hard feelings. My name's Cassandra. Then I give you my official welcome, Cassandra. Let me tell you what's customary around here. This place is mine. I know every flower, every face. I alone let them in. But there's something here I don't want. You mean me? No. There's a beast loose in Elysium, and it belongs to Hades. If it gets to him that his wife stole one of his immortal mounts, it'll be a disaster. But I didn't steal it. I won't go near the things. They brought me down here in the first place. No, someone wants me to look bad, and I need that horse gone. 
The Hades? I'll take it you aren't a happy couple. He's tried, of course, to bond with me. But what can he expect out of a prisoner? Love? That's just stuff of legend. You think someone would do this to you? It's highly unlikely the thing got in here on its own. I have to remember Elysium is my paradise, not everyone else's. I'll see if I can find the horse for you. What does it look like? You know it when you see it, trust me. Not only is the beast immortal, but he is terrifying. Horses don't scare me. Has anyone seen him lately? I heard screams coming from the Asphodel Alboritum. Perhaps he's scaring civilians. Bring it to my stable boy, the jockey of Artemision. He'll know how to send it galloping back to the nightmare it came from. Now, there's a dark horse we need to get, yes. You also get that as a reward, too. You're going to see that in the video, since that'll be my uh, new ride. It's a bit uh, northwest in this uh, region right here, in these fields. It's right here, exactly. I already did explore it while I was getting the uh, conquest points. Yeah, I was doing that in between uh, footage recordings, but still. Great idea you want to get that done. However, enemies will uh, reappear. That's the bad news. Great news is, is, well, you get the lay of the land. If not, this one's very easy to do. Real easy. There'll be about four set of enemies. Uh, if you're great with rush assassination and you have that, well, you will take advantage of that. And if you seriously power up rush assassination through, a, you know, I mean, ability points, well, you're going to shred through most of the enemies in one or two hits. Mainly one hit. Still, we're going to go over here and then uh, jump down. So I'm going to herd this up slightly, so here we go. There you go, I'm going to jump down here real quick. Yeah, this is a lot closer to jump down, it's real fun. So I'm going to keep on going over here, and then uh, use our ride. Straight up ahead, this uh, temple-like area, so. I'm going to get over here now, once I get close by, up ahead will be uh, combat. I'm going to let that happen. However, I'm going to get us inside the uh, temple. I'll show you the exact location, I'll put time sense in the video for everybody to see. Wonder what's wrong with them. That 
that's it for all the enemies we uh, cleared out. I would not go down there at all. Now there's one of the torches right there already destroyed. You get about I think I think 20 points if you do that, which is very good though. So we climb over here. Just keep on climbing. Yeah, that's correct. We're gonna keep on climbing and moving over here. And right over here is this window. You already seen the distance. How are we gonna go in there this time? And the horse is in there. So once we uh, interact with the cutscene, we'll be given choice on how to deal with the uh, horse and the uh, horse thief. Yeah, we we'll have to deal with that choice. So let's see what's going on. Don't come any closer. You're all scaring my horse. He's just a gentle creature. Have you seen your horse? The others ran away screaming. Leave it to a blind man to see what's right in front of him. Of course I haven't seen it. I'm sorry. These are hard times. I'm afraid I won't make them any easier. I have to take that horse from you. You can't! First Persephone takes my sight, and then you take Orphe? Our friendship was instant. I heard the neigh of a fierce horse. I approached him, unafraid, and he licked my palm. Did you say Persephone blinded you? She had one of her godly soldiers <laughs> fry me with fire. It was punishment for telling others what I thought of this paradise, and somehow it got back to her. Said I didn't deserve to see the beauty she created. She's not supposed to be in Elysium. Are any of us in a realm that boasts perfection but shows only deceit? Have pity. Let him stay with me. <sighs> All right, you can keep him. But it's a risk. You could be caught. A risk I'm willing to take. Oh, Orphe, when we're safe, we shall ride together in the fields. Well, the dude got blind and I let him keep the horse. We're going to get a nice uh, copy of it anyway, so doesn't matter. However, we're going to do some straight up lying. Yeah, we got to lie to the uh, quest giver and uh, advance this uh, stage of the quest. So, yeah, we're going to do some major lying here, folks. And, by the way, you cannot use the door. You have to go... The way out, you could just kind of came back into it. Yeah, this window right here. And what we're going to do is uh, get out of this area here. I'm going to try to be slick about it. And not uh, get caught. And loot some things up on the way. So, I'm going to jump off the cliff. And then we're going to take the short, short, short cut to that uh, sink point. Yeah, remember I told you that sink point at the uh, palace? Well, it's a nice shortcut. And it's going to get things a lot faster since there are a lot of cliffs here. And it's a uh, DLC to climb. So we're going to teleport there right now, and we're going to lie our uh, teeth off. So we're going to be liars in this part of the quest, and we're going to give them one more part of the quest, and that'll be it for this video here in the quest. Good news, I take it. I know Hades will be missing his beast. Everything's taken care of. Hmm. I'll have one of my generals check up with my stable boy. I hope the creature didn't scare him too much. Not at all, rest assured. Yep, the lie has worked, so we better uh, pay off the stable boy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're gonna have to pay him off. Yep, that is right. We have lied to her, and now we get to pay off her uh, stable boy to keep the lie up. Yeah, it was uh, not cool of a. Uh, we would have stolen the horse from the blind dude or used the horse for the uh, rebellion. I let him keep the horse instead. He was very happy. And there's my horse. This is the last time I'm going to ride this one. So after this quest, say goodbye to it. I'm going to miss it though. It's a very good horse. It looks cool though. But the other one looks much, much cooler in my uh, personal opinion. Still, we're going to go over here. I mean, just keep on going down this path. It's straightforward. They already got it marked for you. So it's really easy. So keep on doing some uh, cliff jumping. Yeah, you can do a lot of that in this uh, DLC, but it's cool though. And we're gonna fly. This is the Assassin's Creed Odyssey. That's the great news. If it would have been the other Assassin's Creed, yeah, the height jump would have killed you. Especially the older ones where uh, you jump a certain height without uh, grabbing anything. Yeah, your good is dead, and that's a reload right there. 
So I'll just keep on going this path right here, and there'll be a cutscene, and we'll be given uh, two choices to keep up the lie. Uh, the money's very cheap. I would do the money option. If not, go grab some money now, then resume this quest part. So we're gonna talk to this person right here and uh, keep the lie up. You must be the jockey of Artemision. Nice horses. I keep them clean and pretty, just like Elysium. I tended horses in my old life too. Then you're just the boy I need to talk to. I have a favor to ask. What favor? If Persephone or any of her people ask, I need you to tell them that I brought a big, scary horse to you. A scary horse? We don't have those here. Then you'll have to pretend. There is Drachmi for you if you do. You're silly. We don't need Drachmi in Elysium. You're sure you're from around here? Of course, I knew that. No matter what, you need to do what I say. Why do you want me to lie? Because if you don't, I'll make sure all of your horses get out of their pens and run away to Tartarus. Understand? Tell them I was here. Fine! Just leave my horses alone! So we got all four Keeper insights. We did uh, two story uh, quests here. In our next video, we're going to do Hermes' uh, quest line with our new Royal Ride. This is uh, Lorefit signing off. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, everyone.